So now we're going to be just going to begin discussing uh, nesting multiple parts on a sheet. So first off, I have one part loaded up currently. I've imported this part, same as we had before in the prior videos. So what I'm going to do is do an array on this part. And this time I'm going to go set my part spacing. It remembers the last one I did. I click fit to material. Well, I don't actually want eight columns and 14 rows. And so what I'm going to do instead is just kind of fudge it and say, I only want, I want three rows. And sheet cam loads it up and fits in as many as it can. So now I'm able to bring in additional parts. Okay, so let's say I'm going to bring in another part. Currently I have one. To bring in another part, you go File, then down to New Part. And it says, do you want to import a drawing to this part? You say yes. Now, it is very important you use the New Part option. If I simply go and um, import another drawing, it will simply import a new drawing in place of this one. It will erase the old part and bring in the new part. Okay, so this is why we want to use the new part option. So I'm going to click yes here. I do want to import a drawing into this part. So we're going to go and open up this bracket one. Same as before, I have my drawing options. I click OK. So when it first pulls it in, it pulls it in down at the lower left. Okay, so let me zoom out here so you can see it a little bit. So now in the nesting mode, I have the ability to select which one I want to move here. Okay, so if I click here, it's going to let me pick which am I trying to pick? The wire mount or the bracket? In this case, I want to move the bracket. So I'm going to left click, hold it down, and now I can drag the part up and I can move the part up to where I want. Okay. So, let me zoom out. So now, I have this part selected. So I right click, I go array parts. I can go fit to material, and again, it will try to fill the entire sheet up with this part, okay? But I can decide, no, I don't want 22 rows of this. I only want two. So I can click OK. Now when I do this, the first time, as you can see, it pulls it in and lays it over top of the bottom left. Now, there are two ways that I can fix this. In the nesting mode, with bracket one selected, I can right click and now I have select part and duplicates. Now I have the ability to move these up. So if I click and move these up, I can move them up to where I want them. Or let me undo. Or what I can do is use the back option and go back to the original part undo my array and the second time I actually do the array I don't change it I still got two rows up here click OK second time it always does this okay puts it where you want it a little glitch in sheet cam um, but if you know the workaround it's pretty easy to work with so you know I can continue to fit multiple parts in here so let's say I want to you know, add some of these. I think they'll fit in here nicely. I can nest my sheet up. Um, cancel that multiple duplicate. And I can continue to do this and bring in additional parts and nest up my sheet. Now, this is where once you bring it in, you can see the original here is marked in yellow and the one you're selected shows up with the red and the yellow okay if I click on here 
Now that one shows up red and yellow and this one's orange. What's important when you nest up a sheet this way with multiple parts is each part has to have an operation for it. Otherwise it will not generate G-code. So if I click on the original, I can go operation, plasma cut. We're going to be cutting this out of quarter inch steel. Click OK. Generates the operation for me. If I wanted to modify my start points, I could. If I wanted to change, switch up, make multiple layers, I could. And I have to make sure I have an operation for this bracket here. So if I go operation, plasma cut, same thing, quarter inch steel, click OK. So now all these parts have operations because these are all duplicates. I didn't copy any of these. When you do an array, it duplicates them. So each one of these parts is going to cut out. And it's going to cut out in the appropriate order. Okay. So currently with both of these parts selected, if I post process, I will get one G code that cuts all this parts out, all these parts. So that's nesting multiple parts up on a sheet.